Actor Kevin Bacon is opening up about Ponzi schemer Bernie Madoff. The 64-year-old Bacon tells the Smartless podcast he and his wife lost most of their fortune after having been lured by the promise of tantalizing high returns. There's obvious life lessons there. If something is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. And when something like that happens, you look at each other and you go, well, that sucks. Let's get to work. We made it this far. We can still both work. Certainly, you know, you get angry and stuff. But I have to say that there were a lot of people who were much worse off than we were. People yeah. whose retirement funds were completely decimated. Yeah. And Madoff ripped off $65 billion, with a B, dollars from 40,000 people. So what can a smaller investor learn from this scandal? Well, I guess if you think about uh, Kevin Bacon, what do they say, six degrees of separation that's from right. Kevin? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it was. You know, it's not that much of a six degrees of separation. I could say, you know, personally, I've seen issues of, you know, people looking to scam us. And, you know, how can I invest and not get scammed is certainly a big worry for a lot of folks. You know, it's your life savings. And in situations like what you saw with Madoff, you know, they didn't have protection. They've lost it. Uh, I've seen uh, scams here locally in northwest Ohio with companies in town uh, that have made the news. I mean, we had uh, Tom Noe, I think, went to jail over sure. the, the coin scam. And we've had other people in town that, you know, have ripped people off. So first and foremost, a couple of tips here is check the financial background and the licenses of the financial professionals that you're considering working with. People that are in what is called the broker-dealer securities business, uh, they are uh, public records are available if you look at FINRA Broker Check. That's spelled F-I-N-R-A Broker Check. You can go and you type in the name of an individual and be able to get that information. Uh, here in the state of Ohio or most states, there's an agent locator where you can look up licensed insurance agents. And then also the third category is people that have uh, SEC or securities type licenses. Mm -hmm. uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission has a website which is advisorinfo.sec.gov. That's A D V I S E R info period SEC period G O V. So look at that. If you're talking about uh, those links, you want to get them, just look down below. We'll connect those links to you. Next, you want to verify the product is registered. So a lot of the times the issues that you see is these products aren't being registered that are out there. Uh, you got to really watch out for the online scams. That's where I see a lot of this stuff happening. I know in my spam filter, I see a lot of things that seem like legitimate, right. uh, but they oftentimes are not. And then also use what's called well-known custodians. So somebody who holds your money. So you can have like top name companies that are out there like, you know, Fidelity, Vanguard, T. Rowe Price, uh, Charles Schwab. These are what are called custodians, and these are the holders of your money. And companies like you know Fidelity and Charles Schwab, they want to do whatever they can to protect and safeguard their investors and help you know protect them from these type of scans happening. And it's not to say that it can't happen. I remember a situation where you know my own grandfather was going to the bank to take money out of the bank. Uh, because he had got a phone call that my brother was in jail in Mexico. Sure. Yep. yep. And uh, luckily, the bank teller was smart enough to stop him and say, hey, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. Um, and if we think about seniors and retirees, it, you know, with diminished capacity, maybe slowing down, those are some of the ones that can be at bigger risk. But again, even me being in the industry with all the training that I've gone through, I oftentimes see things that somewhat look legitimate, but put a little bit of a hair on the back of my neck that made me stop a little bit and think about, you know, how can I invest and not get scammed in the ways to do it? The same that you probably see also in the, the healthcare industry. Oh, absolutely. I remember a, a specific situation where a client um, was really struggling. Uh, they very frustrated with their health insurance premium, and um, they were under 65. It wasn't a Medicare client. And they, uh, uh, around this area, they would, they have these yellow signs stapled to telephone poles. And it was offering health insurance premium for like $35. It was ridiculous. And, <laughs> and what do they do? They, they canceled their health insurance plan that I wrote them. And sure enough, about a year later, they call back and say, hey, uh, we made a big mistake. And, you know, so I asked them, and they were very willing to tell me all about it. You know, yes, it was health insurance, but everything they did was capped at a certain dollar amount. You know, I mean, they didn't have 
the unlimited resources, you know, for a cancer claim, it would have been like $50,000. Any surgery was like $25,000. Well, that's not going to go far, you know. So, I mean, you just, like you said, if you're used to paying a high premium of $1,200 and all of a sudden you got somebody that's telling you you can get your health insurance for 100 bucks, like uh, Kevin Bacon said, that's, if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. You know, you got to watch for those things. But, um, you know, one of the things I would add, you know, use family and friends as referrals. You know, I mean, that doesn't say that it couldn't happen because I'm sure that uh, Bernie Madoff had a lot of people referring, you know, people to him saying, hey, this guy's doing a bang up job. Look at what we're doing. I mean, Kevin Bacon got sucked into it, right? And there's many other well known people did. But, you know, locally, you know, bring it down a little bit and, and look at it. You, your brother, sister, you know, mom, dad, whoever. Um, if they've been using the same advisor for many years, then there's a pretty good chance that that advisor is going to be doing a good job uh, uh, for you as well. So, you know, uh, you know, I've got stories I don't want to tell on the radio because it's kind of embarrassing, but I've been uh, almost scammed. Uh, I listened to the voice of uh, reason, which happened to be my wife. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that kept me out of getting scammed out of some things too. So it's out there. Um, just you got to be aware. As we said earlier, if it sounds too good to be true, exercise caution. Definitely, like I said, you know, that measure twice cut one sort of situation. Do a little due diligence. Ask your friends. Do some research. As uh, Nolan mentioned, you know, Finner's broker check, things like that. And, you know, <laughs> do your best to not get taken advantage of. The team at America's Retirement Headquarters, if something sounds too good to be true, you have questions about it, they can, they can walk you through the ins and the outs and say, oh, you know, this is actually on the level. Or, yeah, this is something you definitely want to steer clear of. So, if you need that second opinion from them, they're happy to help out. Uh, but just give a call, 419-794-3030, if you have questions about things we've talked about on this week's show or things about your retainment, uh, your retirement that we didn't necessarily get to, but you want to know as it pertains to your circumstances. Obviously, everyone's going to be different. 419-794-3030. You can always find them online, americasretirementheadquarters.com. And as always, I want to thank you for spending part of your day with us, spending a little time with us here on America's Retirement Headquarters. Please have a great week ahead of you. Have a safe week ahead of you. Nolan Scott, always appreciate your time. And as we wrap up, I want to leave you with the final word. Well, I guess as the leaves are changing color and it's still beautiful out before all the leaves uh, fall down, make sure you get out there, take a little road trip this weekend. And uh, just remember that retirement isn't the end of the road, but it's just a turn in the road. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, folks. We look forward to seeing you soon right here on Toledo's largest talk station, 1370 WSPD. Just remember, when you think retirement, think America's Retirement Headquarters.